Your belly won't shrink. The weight around your midsection refuses to budge. You cut calories, you exercise, you follow every diet rule, but that stubborn fat clings to your body like it's protecting something valuable. Because it is. Deep inside your abdomen, fat cells wrap around your liver, intestines, and heart. This isn't fat you can pinch, this is visceral fat. And researchers at Yale found something shocking about why your body holds onto it so tightly. Women who secreted more cortisol in response to stress carried significantly more abdominal fat, even when they weren't overweight. Their bodies interpreted constant stress as danger. And when your body feels threatened, it doesn't burn fat, it stores it. Think about your typical day. Alarm jolts you awake. Grab your phone immediately. Rush through breakfast or skip it. Sit at your desk for hours coffee to push through afternoon fatigue, scroll your phone until midnight. Every piece of this pattern sends the same signal to your nervous system. Threat. Your body doesn't understand you're just checking work emails. It only knows one thing. Stress means hold on to every calorie possible. Today, you'll learn exactly how cortisol locks visceral fat in place and the simple signals that convince your body it's safe to finally let go. Cortisol isn't your enemy. You need it to wake up, focus, handle challenges. The problem starts when cortisol never comes down. Scientists at Yale discovered that visceral fat tissue contains significantly more cortisol receptors than fat stored anywhere else on your body. When stress hormones stay elevated, these receptors trigger fat storage around your organs as an emergency energy reserve. From your body's biological perspective, this makes sense. Thousands of years ago, stress meant real physical danger, famine, predators, harsh environments. Storing fat around vital organs provided protection and survival energy. Your body still interprets chronic stress the same way, as life-threatening danger requiring emergency fat storage. Research from the University of Chicago showed that even one week of poor sleep increased insulin resistance significantly. When insulin resistance rises, your body struggles to access stored fat for energy. The fat stays locked in place. Cortisol and insulin work together in a destructive cycle. High cortisol raises blood sugar. High blood sugar triggers insulin release. Chronic insulin elevation prevents fat burning and increases fat storage, especially around your midsection. Your nervous system controls this process. When it operates in fight-or-flight mode constantly, cortisol stays elevated. When it shifts into rest and digest mode, cortisol normalizes, insulin sensitivity improves, and your body releases stored fat. Your first hour awake sets your cortisol rhythm for the entire day. Research from circadian biology labs shows that cortisol should peak in the morning and gradually decline throughout the day. When this natural rhythm breaks down, fat loss becomes extremely difficult. Most people destroy this rhythm immediately. They wake up, grab their phone, flood their brain with information, stress, and blue light before their body has even fully woken up. Instead, the single most powerful thing you can do is get natural light into your eyes within 60 minutes of waking. A study from the University of Michigan found that spending 20 to 30 minutes outdoors significantly reduced cortisol levels. Even sitting near a window provides benefits. This morning light exposure tells your brain it's daytime and helps cortisol follow its natural pattern. Pair this with controlled breathing. Studies on diaphragmatic breathing showed significant cortisol reduction after consistent practice. The technique is simple. Breathe in through your nose for four counts, hold briefly, then exhale slowly for six counts. This breathing pattern activates your parasympathetic nervous system, the calming branch that tells your body you're safe. Just five minutes can shift your physiology from stress response to recovery mode. Your morning routine doesn't need to be complicated. Step outside, breathe slowly and deeply. Give your body these two simple signals of safety before the day's demands begin. 
Your eating patterns send powerful signals about safety or scarcity to your nervous system. Skipping meals might seem like a good calorie-cutting strategy, but research shows that irregular eating increases cortisol, especially in people already dealing with high stress and visceral fat. When you skip meals under stress, your body interprets this as food scarcity. Scarcity equals threat, threat equals elevated cortisol and tighter fat storage. The solution isn't eating more, it's eating consistently. Protein early in the day provides particular benefits. Studies show that adequate protein intake stabilizes blood sugar levels throughout the morning. When blood sugar stays stable, cortisol doesn't spike to compensate for energy crashes. You don't need perfection. Simple protein sources, eggs, Greek yogurt, protein smoothies, provide your body with the message of abundance and stability. Blood sugar crashes are interpreted as emergencies by your stress system, even if you're eating enough calories overall. Wild blood sugar swings trigger cortisol release and promote fat storage. Think about how this plays out in real life. You skip breakfast, drink coffee on an empty stomach, feel shaky by late morning, grab something sugary for quick energy, crash again in the afternoon, then overeat at night because you're exhausted and hungry. This pattern keeps cortisol elevated all day long. Consistent meals, especially protein-rich breakfasts, break this cycle. Your blood sugar stabilizes. Your cortisol follows its natural rhythm instead of spiking repeatedly. Exercise can either lower cortisol or spike it dangerously high. Studies on physical activity and stress hormones reveal something counterintuitive. Long, intense workouts performed daily, especially combined with calorie restriction, often increase visceral fat instead of reducing it. Your body interprets excessive exercise without adequate recovery as chronic physical stress. This raises cortisol chronically, which directly promotes abdominal fat storage. Walking provides remarkable benefits without triggering stress responses. Research showed that a daily 20 to 30 minute walk in natural environments significantly reduced cortisol levels and improved mood markers. Walking doesn't feel threatening to your nervous system. It lowers stress, improves insulin sensitivity, and helps your body access stored fat without triggering survival responses. You can walk anywhere. Morning walks provide the added benefit of light exposure. Evening walks help transition your body towards sleep. Strength training also matters, but it doesn't require extreme intensity. Short, focused sessions two to three times weekly signal your body to maintain muscle while supporting metabolism. The key difference is recovery. When you finish a workout feeling energized and capable, your stress system responds positively. When you finish destroyed, depleted, and exhausted, your stress hormones stay elevated for hours afterward. Your body responds better to consistent, moderate movement than to sporadic, intense punishment. Walking daily and lifting weights moderately creates better hormonal conditions for fat loss than crushing yourself with intense training every single day. Sleep deprivation destroys fat loss at a hormonal level. Groundbreaking research by Dr. Eve Van Cowder at the University of Chicago demonstrated that partial sleep deprivation, even just one week of sleeping four to five hours, significantly increased insulin resistance and elevated morning cortisol levels. When insulin resistance increases, your body cannot access stored fat for energy, the fat stays locked in place regardless of your calorie intake or exercise routine. Poor sleep also disrupts hunger hormones. Studies showed that sleep-deprived individuals experienced increased appetite, stronger cravings for high-calorie foods, and reduced satiety signals. This creates a perfect storm, higher cortisol, worse insulin sensitivity, increased hunger, and stronger cravings all happening simultaneously. The solution doesn't require perfection, consistency matters most. 
going to bed and waking at similar times each day helps regulate your circadian rhythm. Your body learns when to expect sleep, which helps cortisol follow its natural decline pattern in the evening. Create darkness in your sleep environment. Light exposure at night suppresses melatonin, which interferes with deep sleep and keeps cortisol elevated. Reduce screen exposure before bed. The blue light from phones and computers signals your brain that it's still daytime, which disrupts your natural cortisol decline. Even improving your sleep by 30 to 60 minutes can create measurable improvements in how your body handles stress and stores fat. These aren't small details. They directly affect your cortisol rhythm and whether your body feels safe enough to burn visceral fat. Your body doesn't distinguish between physical and emotional stress. Research confirms that psychological stress, work pressure, relationship conflict, financial worry, constant self-criticism, raises cortisol just as powerfully as physical stressors. You can eat perfectly and exercise intelligently, but if you're constantly anxious, overthinking, or emotionally overwhelmed, your cortisol levels stay elevated and your belly fat stays locked in place. This is where intentional calm becomes essential. You don't need to eliminate all stress, that's impossible. You need moments where your nervous system shifts out of high alert and into genuine relaxation. Studies on breathing exercises, meditation, and mindfulness practices show significant reductions in cortisol levels and improvements in stress resilience with consistent practice. Five minutes of slow breathing, quiet sitting, journaling, prayer, walking without your phone, any practice that gives your mind permission to slow down helps your nervous system shift out of threat response. When your mind calms, your body follows, your cortisol normalizes, your blood sugar stabilizes, your fat burning signals improve. Many people resist this because it feels unproductive, but constant mental stress is actively preventing the physical changes you want. Think about your mental state throughout a typical day. Are you constantly rushing, worrying, planning, solving problems, never truly at rest? Your nervous system interprets constant mental activity as ongoing threat. It responds by keeping cortisol elevated, which keeps visceral fat stored. Emotional stress management isn't soft or optional. It's a biological requirement for normalizing cortisol. Let me be direct about what's actually possible. You won't reach 0% visceral fat in 30 days. That phrase sounds impressive, but it's neither realistic nor healthy. Your body needs some visceral fat for organ protection and hormone production. What is realistic is significant reduction in visceral fat, inflammation, bloating, and stress markers within 30 days when you manage cortisol properly. Studies on stress reduction interventions showed measurable decreases in abdominal fat within 8 to 12 weeks, even without aggressive calorie restriction. Many people notice their waistline shrinking, digestion improving, and energy increasing within two to three weeks of lowering chronic stress. This approach works because it addresses the root cause. When cortisol normalizes, insulin sensitivity improves. When insulin sensitivity improves, your body accesses stored fat more easily. When your nervous system feels safe, fat storage signals decrease. You're not forcing fat loss, you're removing the biological blocks that were preventing it. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I share research-backed health information that makes sense for real people. Hit subscribe so you never miss practical strategies backed by real science. If this information is helping you understand your body better, tap the like button. It helps more people discover this content. Drop a comment telling me where you're watching from and which strategy you're trying first. Morning light exposure? Better sleep? Daily walks? I read every comment and your questions inspire future videos. Your health journey matters. Let's make sure you have the right information. Your body isn't broken. It's responding exactly as designed to the stress signals you're sending it. 
Once you remove those constant threat signals, the sleep deprivation, the irregular meals, the chronic rushing, the emotional overwhelm, fat loss becomes a natural side effect instead of a constant battle. Imagine 30 days from now, sleeping deeper, thinking clearer, feeling lighter around your midsection, moving through your day with less anxiety and more energy. You didn't force anything. You didn't hate the process. You simply worked with your biology instead of against it. Start with one change, one morning walk, one earlier bedtime, one calmer start to your day, one protein-rich breakfast. Small signals of safety repeated consistently create powerful changes in how your body manages stress and stores fat. Comment below with which step you're starting with. Type yes if you're ready to try the nervous system approach instead of forcing your body harder. Your body wants to be healthy. When you give it the right signals, it moves naturally toward balance. Sustainable fat loss happens when your nervous system feels safe.